Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool wooden wall crank telephone. Charles sent this unit in from Indiana and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. Now this is an American electric telephone. We have a transmitter spit cup and our transmitter neck, our solenoid, and then also our receiver capsule. And they were loose, so that all has to be reinstalled. Now we're going to do still pictures of the transmitter, the receiver capsule, the solenoid for the bells, and we'll take some still pictures of the inside of this unit. Now we're going to have to go through everything. Uh, everything needs to be worked on. We're going to have to rewire this telephone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. Once we repair the solenoid, we will reinstall it and then we'll have to adjust everything and adjust the bells. Now we're going to have to go through the hook switch. We also are going to have to go through the magneto that's in this unit. We have the crank handle and the magneto is not producing the voltage to ring this telephone at this time. It's very hard to turn and so that is all going to have to be gone through. We also want to install an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build at the shop here. We also want to install the circuit that allows us to walk up to this telephone crank the magneto and ring the original bells but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and when you get a call when a ring cycle comes in the original bells will ring so we have a lot of work that we need to do we also need to upgrade the receiver capsule and install a cloth cord the one that's on this unit is not usable it's in bad shape so we're gonna go ahead and get a start on this unit. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool wooden wall crank telephone. It's an American electric unit and it's in very good shape for its age. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this really cool wooden wall crank telephone and we're going to run through 
a little bit about what's going on. Now, we mentioned earlier that we will have to upgrade the receiver and we need to find a cap. That's missing. The cord is in bad shape, so we want to replace that. That looks like someone just installed an old lamp cord that was cloth on that unit sometime in the past. We want to show you our solenoid for the bells. The clapper is bent pretty bad, so that's all going to have to be worked on and adjusted and straightened. We need to repair the solenoids. We've got some loose wires hanging off of them, so that's got to be taken care of. We also want to show you an electronic amplified transmitter. Now there's going to be more to this unit when it is installed. The quality for this transmitter will be much higher than anything that you would get with a diaphragm style transmitter or a carbon granule transmitter. So we'll set that to the side. This will give you a look at the transmitter and spit cup. We have uh, American Electric across the front of that. It's a very unique style that they have here. Got stuff rattling around in it, so we know the transmitter is not going to be any good. We'll get that all squared away and repaired, and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool American Electric wooden wall crank telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this really cool wooden wall crank telephone and we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. Now, we're working on the magneto. That was removed. It had to be repaired it was not producing the voltage needed to ring a bell and that issue has been resolved. Now we also found a bobby pin inside that magneto and so that was kind of an odd find. We're going to set that to the side. It's of no use to us. Now we have the magneto connected to a small bell that we use as a test bell and we want to go ahead and crank the magneto and ring that bell. So now we're ready to reinstall the magneto and we'll take care of that. We also want to talk about the electronic amplified transmitter that was installed in the transmitter cup and that's been taken care of. We also wanted to be able to remove the transmitter from the bracket that's on the door for shipping purposes and if the telephone is ever worked on you can remove the transmitter and the neck. And we're going to show in a still picture, all you have to do is take the plug that's at that end and push it right through into the other side and plug right into the plug that it fits into. And that feeds the power to your transmitter. And so that's been taken care of and we'll do a still picture of that. We also want to work on our receiver capsule. We need to get a cap for that receiver capsule and we need to upgrade the inside with a more modern style receiver capsule. So we'll take care of that. We also want to mention our bells. Now they need to be adjusted. We've worked on the solenoids and that issue has been resolved, but we have to adjust our bells and adjust our solenoid and we'll get that taken care of and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool wooden wall crank telephone. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool wooden wall crank telephone and we're ready to start our final checkout. But we wanna run through a few things before we start that checkout 
We want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. Now I have an amplifier back by the video and it has a button on it and I can push that button and give dial tone or take it away at any time. And the issue is since we have an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop and that was installed in this telephone, the amplification from that is a very high quality transmit level and it's very sensitive and it can feed back with the amplifier that we use to pick up the receive with and so I'm probably going to have to cover the transmitter so that we don't get a reverb or a feedback and we'll try to get through that because we call a time and temp number in our final checkout and since this telephone does not have a keypad we'll be using a tone dialer to do that with and so we also want to mention that we upgraded our receiver capsule we got a cap for the receiver capsule we also used a to the period cloth cord and so the cloth cord is from the same period as the telephone so it's very old also we also went through the crank the magneto that was repaired everything was rewired in this telephone the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work we also went through the solenoids they were repaired adjusted the bells were adjusted and we want to make sure that the bells don't get knocked out of adjustment because when you adjust the solenoid and the bells it's uh, pretty tricky uh, it's very sensitive once they're put into adjustment you really don't want to touch them or uh, knock them out of adjustment so that's pretty important we also installed the screw that keeps the door closed and the cosmetic ring that goes over the screw so the screw won't come out of the door and so that was all taken care of we went through our hook switch that was cleaned and adjusted and we also installed a modular port that you can simply bring into the back of the telephone plug it right into the modular port makes for easy simple plug and play connection and that way you can use any length line cord you choose any color and we'll be doing some still pictures of that situation We also want to talk a little bit about the shelf that would have been mounted to the door of this telephone and Charles has that original shelf and it would have been really cool to see the shelf on this unit. It is a very unique telephone and an American electric and I'm sure it's going to look great when he gets the shelf mounted back on this telephone and then mounts the telephone where he's going to be using it. I'm sure it's going to look really nice. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and use the magneto and we're going to crank the handle here and we're going to ring the original bells. We also want to send a ring cycle to the telephone like you were getting a call and so we'll go ahead and use the analyzer and we'll send that ring cycle we'll let that go a few times we'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone I'm going to set our receiver on our pickup, but I also want to cover the transmitter. I'll show you the feedback. Because the transmitter is very sensitive, we want to go ahead and hang our unit up. 
Now we can call a time and temp number and we're going to go ahead and use a tone dialer to do that since there is no keypad with this telephone and what we're going to do is push this button on the switch box that will give us a line out totally take the analyzer out of the situation now what we can do is call a time and temp number and we'll use our tone dialer so we'll set our receiver on our pickup and we'll make that call good afternoon today is saturday august 13th the time is 4:23. current temperature 79 degrees Scattered showers today, a thunderstorm possible, cloudy, high near 84. Mostly cloudy tonight, 50% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm, lows around 68. Sunday, 50% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm, mostly cloudy, high near 81. Okay, we can go ahead and leave the receiver capsule off. We'll go back to our analyzer, and I'm going to cause the analyzer to take the dial tone away. We're going to hit and dial a one with our hook switch and I'm standing pretty far away from this telephone and you can see this red light every time you see that red light light up that's an indication of a hundred percent modulation on transmit <laughs> one two three four five six one two three four five six <laughs> hello hello so what that's an indication of is the sensitivity of the transmitter. In the old days, you would have to get right up on the spit cup and speak into the spit cup so that people could hear you. And now you can stand back away from it. Now you wouldn't want to stand uh, too far back away from it, but you could if you wanted to. It's almost like a speaker phone, basically. And so there is plenty of transmit power for this telephone now with the amplified electronic transmitter that we design and build here at the shop. Now that we know that this really cool American electric wooden wall crank telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Charles and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed and used. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one Hyphen telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.